Paul Harrell. Weekdays from 4 to 6. Learn more at paulharrell.com. With our segments, uh, What Christmas Means to You, we are privileged to welcome back the Arkansas Secretary of State. Mark Martin is with us. Mark, welcome back, sir. Hello, Paul. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing very, very well. Um, I'm just going to give you the floor. This is kind of what we do. We've got about five minutes, and uh, just feel free uh, to tell us what does Christmas mean to you, Secretary of State Mark Martin. Well, I haven't heard the other segment, so I don't know if I'll be repeating what other people say, but you know, one of the things that just always comes to me is is that that line of the Christmas Carol that says, um, "God and sinners reconciled," mm. and we just that part right there is what really Christmas means to me is that God coming and doing what it took to be reconciled with us, and you know. It, it's not just peace between God and man, because when there's peace between God and man, there's peace between man and man. Have you ever really thought about that? And hmm. That's kind of the thing that – the reason we always talk about peace on earth at Christmas time is because when we are reconciled with God, then it's easy for us to be reconciled with our fellow men. And, you know, that's the, really the Christmas spirit for me. I mean – Whenever we look at what Christians put up and think about during a time of Christmas, we always have the um, the the manger scene, the nativity scene, and what is that a symbol of? You know, the, it's it's a symbol of the act of bringing about peace. It's a hopeful thing. It's 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 uplifting. And stuff like that. When we see symbols of people who are not in favor of Christmas, uh, very often those are symbols of division. So I think that the, it's really, to me, Christmas is by extension of the peace that God made with us through the atonement of his son for our sins. And that indwelling with us to do that has so much more meaning than just between us and him, but with other people too. So, mm -hmm. And I think that we match that sort of gift-giving that God gives to us with other people by kind of giving a gift sort of as a symbol of what he did. Certainly immeasurably less, but a nice thought along the way. Yeah, I really, I, I really, uh, that that actually is, I think, unique in, in what every, everybody else has said. I mean, everybody said great things, but the, the idea of the reconciliation between uh, us and, and our fellow man uh, because of Christ is is certainly a, a, a new aspect. I mean, it's not new, but I mean, it's certainly, you know, it's, it's unique. Um, and I think that comes out of a, 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 a recognition uh, or, or a realization of, of God uh, coming from heaven and humbling himself, becoming poor so that we might become rich. Um, and when, you are, when you're confronted with, with that kind of love and, and the reconciliation you have before God, how can you not, how can you say and have a claim against your brother? Yeah, exactly. I mean, and you really see just how short we come in dealing with other people when we realize what God did for us. So you, you just really are left coming up short um, in feeling, and that just motivates us to do more than what we would have, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it should, <laughs> but I don't always <laughs> – I certainly don't do the right thing every time, so – Oh, no, I don't <laughs> either. <laughs> I know. Oh, wow. I, I really appreciate it. That is a great perspective, Secretary of State Mark Martin, on what Christmas means to you. Merry Christmas to you, sir, and your family, and uh, we will we'll talk to you soon. Merry Christmas to you and all your listeners. All Peace right. on Earth. Peace on Earth. Thank you, Secretary of State Mark Martin, everybody. we got to